this is the first day we actually did a lot of live stuff, and uh, it was good to hit the quarterbacks even, you know. And I think uh, they get a little too safe in the pocket, and, and uh, it's just nice to have them get the, throw. the The timing all of a sudden becomes a lot better when they know they're going to get hit, you know. So that works out for us, and then I think defensively it was good for us to try to tackle because um, when you're tagging up, it just seems like, you know, maybe it's a three-yard gain when you're tagging, but in a you know, tackle situation, that's probably eight to ten if you don't make it do your job from the beginning. So we had a lot of good tackling. I mean, half the practice was, was with tackle, and so even our skelly was. And so uh, I'm really happy with, the, with the, how the guys responded to the physical part of the game. And we'll just assess our injuries from there and, and uh, try to do it again um, a couple more times before we get to spring game. Anybody get banged up today? I'm pretty sure they got banged up. It's football. But um, <laughs> it's OK. They have spring break to heal. All of one day tomorrow to heal. So. <laughs> Do you have a quick assessment of the quarterbacks? Um, I was actually pleased with the way they, they, they seem to have really good pocket presence, and uh, I think we had really good uh, completion, per completion percentage. And so, um, and then they were able to scramble and run. I think more than anything, it was good for them to get uh, live work and being hit. I, um, I don't know how else you're supposed to work in the pocket. I think it's just trying to simulate game type of of an environment, and for them, it's, they really need to get hit, you know, and um, can't protect them all the time. So I think the best way to protect them in the program is to let them get hit and, and uh, have them compete that way. Otherwise, it's, I don't know how it could be a fair competition if you don't put them in, the, in a live situation. Offense was able to complete the scrimmage with a big, big play again. Mm -hmm. um, how important is that for the offense to get those plays? When you really good. I mean, I, I think... The, the earlier team period, we had two team periods. The earlier team period, I think the offense did well there too. There was a lot of big plays, and uh, defensively, I'm not really happy about it. But um, I, I think they had, they probably had the upper hand today, you know. But and I know there's some things to fix on the offense, just like there is on defense. And uh, we'll, we'll, we have really good film and stuff to work on. So I'm, I'm looking forward to getting to the film and addressing some of the issues that we have and, and uh, seeing how our depth is, is uh, progressing right now. You talked a lot about the, both lines. What's the most noticeable improvement that you see from, from those two positions? Well, the O-lines, um, there's a huge difference because Coach Grimes is one of the best in the country. And then, you know, he has uh, his uh, mini-me and, and Ryan Pugh. And so they, they, they're saying the same. That's, that was a good thing, a good mini-me. <laughs> so, but, I mean, they're speaking the same language. and. Everything's built from the uh, from the O line because that's the way the coordinator is built, and I think that's uh, that's a strength for us. And so uh, we'll just keep working with it and get our guys better. But I, they weren't. It wasn't like they were perfect. You know, there were a lot of big plays that he made that that we made some mistakes. But uh, I think that uh, Coach Grimes, you can see that that's his that's a specialty. A couple weeks in, Kalani was kind of the vibe of the program and the team. Oh, it's good. I mean, there's a, I mentioned there's a, a huge urgency to get better. And then uh, to baseball, you, at some time, you know, looking at last year, but sometimes you have to turn the page and just move on to the next to the next part of the, the season, which is uh, let's focus on the future. And I think the offensive staff did that by not really looking at the, um, the past film and just trying to build from what they know and what they see in practice. And so um, really pleased with the way that things are going with our leadership stepping up. And um, it was tough, you know, it's tough, but I'm looking forward to climbing back and getting past the adversity and, and overcoming the obstacles that we got ourselves into last year. Is that Wilson's readiness level as a freshman surprised you, impressed you? No, it's something that we've seen a lot in, in, in his, um, you know, in his time at Corner Canyon. He's made some big plays and, and um, he's handled different coaching, a different style of offense as well. And so. Um, he, he worked to graduate early. I think he had this plan from the very beginning when he got gone into recruiting before he hadn't even had offers. He planned on graduating and then enrolling somewhere in January. And I'm just glad that he's here with us. Do you remember when you first heard of the idea of early enrollees and when you think of the idea? What do you mean, the early signed it or the early? Oh, well, the mid year? Oh, yeah, I'm good with it. I mean, it's especially for um, local kids, I think it makes a lot of sense, you know. He, Zach can come here and play football and go go to the, the senior prom. So and then doesn't have to really take classes that don't matter. He start his college career early in, in academics and in football. So I think he gets the best of both worlds right now.